Good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing today? Happy Saturday, and welcome to the therapy table. Oh, my goodness. It's Saturday, and I went live five minutes early. That's right. That's right. Oh, let's see here. Who all we got in here? Oh, I got to do this. Got to turn this down. Because I'm checking everything. Hey, there we go. I can see it. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Let's see. Austin, Mary, Jeanette. Oh, how you guys doing? G Man. What's up, Dean? What's up, Joe? Blue Sniffer. What's up? The Radical Pops. How you guys doing? Welcome. I have no agenda this morning. Well, technically, I do have an agenda. I have something I'm going to open up, and I have something I'm going to put together. But other than that, Max, welcome from across the pond. How you doing? Fabulous disaster. And, of course, Mama said pop you out in the house. Matthias, there's my man, Matthias. That's right. That's right. Matthias is in the house, and guess what? Monday is my man's birthday. That's right. Matthias is going to be 21 years old on Monday. So give him some love. Send him a happy birthday. If you follow him on social media and all this other stuff, make sure and show him some love on his birthday. Ah, the Savvy Baron. Ooh, that's an interesting name. But yeah, so definitely want to make sure and give him some love. He's one of my good friends, and he's got a birthday. 47. You're not going to be 40. You're 21. You're just now legal. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What's up, Lisa? Uh, but, yeah, so it's Saturday. It's sort of a yucky day today. Um, so, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to get into today. I really, truly don't. I'm definitely going to work on that this weekend. Definitely going to work on that. I'm going to do a video. Oh, Austin with the super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, and yeah, hit the like button. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I've had an interesting week. It's been a crazy week at work. Man. Sort of glad it's over, but it ain't going to get no better. I mean, it's going to get better. It's just a lot. The plate is full for the next few weeks. So, yeah. Uh, what are we doing? So, what's everybody into today? What are you going to get into today? What are y'all going to get into today? Anything? I know there's a lot of lifting going on a lot of people are starting businesses back opening up uh so yeah hopefully uh, another maybe another couple weeks yeah getting closer 10k i'm actually going to shoot my 10k giveaway video this weekend and uh, get it out next week i'm still I'm still really, really trying to figure out what to do for the giveaway. I've got one ideal that I'm thinking about, which is completely different than I have sort of like a little mystery box ideal. I don't know. I want it to be good. I don't know. It, whoever wins, it's definitely going to get something cool. But, uh, I hope you do as well, Jeanette. Yeah, some crazy, crazy stuff going on. Crazy stuff. Loom knitting. You go, Mary. I see Mary's posts on Instagram. I mean, she's she got some skills. Mary's got some knitting skills. Hardcore naps. <laughs> I actually slept into like 6.30 this morning. I was like, what? Completely core. Things are going okay. Nothing, uh, nothing, you know, major going on other than what's going on with the rest of the world, you know, through all this crazy times we're in. 
but yeah naps naps are awesome but you know the crazy thing about it is the uh, and I know this sounds really really bad the best time I like a nap is when I'm not supposed to take a nap if that makes sense it's like if it's like right now there's like so weekends are my time that's why I've always associated weekends are my time so I got to try to cram in as much as I can in that 48 hour window and naps are never in that window but it's like if I'm somewhere where I really like shouldn't take a nap or shouldn't want to take a nap, it's like that'd be a really cool time taking a nap. I don't know. Uh, Kent Pool, what's up, my man? Yes, Matthias, the unexpected nap. That is like literally the best nap ever. I mean, I've literally came in. Funny story. So I'm chatting with my buddies, uh, Kent and Ryan, last night. And uh, my, my, my buddy Kent, we're, we're video chatting, right? <laughs> Kent's like out in the backyard in his uh, lounge chair, or like his, uh, yeah, those lounge chair things that you lay out on. You know, he's just like, what's up? I mean, I'm just, he looks so flipping comfortable. I was a little, little, I was a little envious and I was telling him that uh, one of my things I want a hammock I've got a hammock that I keep on my motorcycle when I go riding you know you string it between two trees but I want one of those that's on the frame that I can just put out here in the backyard so yeah the VA figure guy what's up yeah I saw that Jeanette and that that was crazy and I'm sorry I mean, if you guys haven't seen the video, <laughs> why? Um, but let's t let's talk about this a minute because Kent Pool's here, and Kent Pool is definitely my go-to Marvel guy. But I mean, I'm I'm this wave here is literally the most reviews I've done on figures in a while, um, like consistently. But I just don't understand the logic why no helmet now they'll probably release another figure with a helmet you know I can almost say that but it it I don't know it doesn't make sense to put him in a fighting pose without a helmet you know and then Jeanette you know like I said she reached out to Hasbro but I mean, it's a great, it's a great looking figure. It's just, it, huh. helmet. <laughs> oh, sweet. Got the new Iron Man. Nice. I don't know when I'm going to go back to a flipping store. I want to so bad. I mean, I'm just saying, and, and another thing too, uh, the head sculpt looks really good. Don't get me wrong. The head sculpt looks good. I personally think it's a little pale. That's just me. It's a little too white. Uh, but it looks great. I mean, I don't know if that camera will even do it justice, but because it doesn't, I mean, it's, it's a good looking figure. It's a, it's a great looking figure. The uniform, the color, the body sculpt, it looks great, but it would have been 10 times better with the helmet. I think so. What they should have done is put this head sculpt and a helmet in it. So, like, if you didn't want to do a helmeted head sculpt, actually have a helmet you could take on and off. That would have been cool. But, uh, yeah, I guess we'll get one. <laughs> That's a good one, Kent. Um... But yeah, Gleason, I mean, it's like, yeah, exactly. He needs more sunshine. Um, but I guess where I'm going with this at is I, w I would, I'd be curious to know the logic. I mean, first and foremost, we're buying them. So they know that we'll buy them. But when you're sitting in the boardroom, like the design meeting and everybody's sitting around going, all right, guys, Red Guardian, how do we want to do it? And we're going to do this. We're going to do that. And, and, and you be the guy that goes, no helmet. I would love to see what everybody on this board table would have said at that moment. Because 
if I was a guy that didn't say it, I'd be like, why? But, I mean, it looks good. It's a good-looking figure. It's just, when I think of putting him in a fighting pose, I just, I, I don't know. Ooh, Kent, first hunt video tonight. Boom. I'm giving it, to be honest with you, um, I may, may, at the earliest would be another week for me. Uh, I'm still a little weirded out by some stuff that's going on, but, uh, you know, maybe sometime in May, first, second, I don't know. Uh... Oh, really? Your P.O. Box company has ran out of stores. So theoretical, have you not went to your P.O. Box? Because I go to my P.O. Box. I go to the post office. I used to go early in the morning when there's no one there. I have went in the afternoons on, on the way home, but you know I wear a mask and the whole nine yards, but I still go to my P.O. Box. I, I, yeah, I mean, I don't know, but when I see the helmet on the car, on the back car, I'm just like, man, this, this would look so cool with the helmet. Because it's a cool looking helmet. And, and here's the thing too, if his face sculpt wasn't so, um, neutral, I think that without a helmet, if, 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 if it would have had a more, um, maybe a little bit more of a smirk or something, you know? It might have been, he just doesn't look mad. He just looks like, I need a nap. <laughs> uh, yeah, the I think, uh, I haven't thrown them out yet. I may still have it. And I'll show you. Maybe. I don't know. somewhere I thought I had it anyway I was gonna show you the back card but it's somewhere in that bag uh, yeah May 15th um, but again a lot of the, a lot of the retail stores and stuff they're opening and they I'm, I'm, I want to see if they follow like employees of retail stores and stuff they're supposed to be wearing masks blah 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 we'll we'll see we'll see how it goes um, are they allowed to smirk in Russia? Good point. No, I've not tried him on the bike yet. Yeah. It's amazing, though. Here's the thing, which, I, like I said, I, I like doing review videos, but um, and I got some really good comments on this where folks were commenting about some of the reused molds. So that was good. Oh yeah, Kent, Kent's, Kent's got plans today, but I don't even know where I went with that. <laughs> uh, oh, I see that now. Two flowers, what's up? Oh, I'm just sorry. I'm just reading, catching up. I will say this though: the illustrations on the back of the boxes, I really did. I, I dug them. They were cool. They were really cool. Wow, that's crazy about the PO stuff. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like spoil anything, but I think my buddy can't pull. I think he's got a road trip today.
for a flying stand. I'm actually work. Okay, so I'm not going to tell you too much about it, but I am working on a custom dynamic stand. It's literally right here, right there. Um, yeah, we'll see how that turns out. What's up, Luke? Yo, I mean, this shirt right here is literally, I'm, I mean, when I opened this box up, I was just like, my mind went straight, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm telling you, it went straight to the gutter. I'm like, no. But, Peter Tingle. Oh. <laughs> uh, Uh-oh. All right, Luke. I'll check out your old gram. Yes, Austin Extraction. If you guys have not watched Extraction on Netflix, I'm telling you right now, uh, watching uh, Chris, uh, a.k.a. Thor, rocking some John Wick action, you need to watch that movie. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good movie. Bethany, what's up? But yeah, watch Extraction. If you have Netflix, watch it. It's cool. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about this little fella right here. So, uh, yeah, the old heavy battle droid that uh, your boy here, when he, when he got released for pre-order for some strange reason, um, I only got one, which makes no sense whatsoever. However... Thanks to some, thanks to some GameStop action, bam! I got another one. Came in the other day in the old PO box. So I am super happy now that I've got a pair of these heavy battle droids. Luke, I'm telling you, I'm, I, I couldn't help it. As soon as I saw it, I was just like. Wow. Wow. Ed. Oh man. Sorry for sorry to hear that, but I'm glad we could help in any way. I mean I I totally understand where you're coming from with that type of loss. Um you know, it's um it's hard. Kent, I wouldn't mind having four, but for right now, I'm happy with two. I'm happy with a pair. Um, apologies for this loud clamshell noise. Wow, that is crazy. Yeah, the, the battle droid legs are different. But hey, he is a robot. Or droid. <laughs> the droid. All right, now we can add this box to the bag right there. Um, so yeah, I'm actually pretty, uh, pretty stoked to actually get another one. So yeah, persistence. But this is literally such a cool droid. It's so cool. I mean, it's a. Uh, I love the weathering, the details. I mean, it's it's just it's le legitimately cool. I was thinking if I had. I don't know if I got another one over here. I don't think I do. But yeah, out of all the out of the two drawers, this is the one I actually like the most because of uh, the weathering and stuff. It just looks really, really cool. So I was super stoked to see that uh, that worked out. So persistence, everyone. Sometimes you might not get it in the beginning. But eventually, you will get it. 
but yeah, the legs are a um, little little hinky, but you know you can you can you can get him to stand up. He stood up going the other way. Now he's not gonna stand up. Bump. Yeah, that just happened. Oh, he's standing up. So now I can actually, um, and, and this goes back to another thing that I'm going to talk about that has to do with the battle droids. There was uh, something I was wanting to try to do, and I had a thing, and I, I don't know for sure, but I wanted these battle droids in it. Uh... But I don't know yet um, the complete concept yet. I'm still working on the details. Yeah, Ed, I heard about some of that going out today. I might, if I go anywhere early, um, like I said, I haven't been to a Target or a Walmart or game nothing in like, God, almost nine weeks. So I'm literally going like stir crazy. Uh, oh, cool. But yeah, the one of the things that I was wanting to do and we're going to see if it'll work i just don't know yet i don't oh i'm not doing that part i need because i needed one of these for sure and i knew they came with the battle droids so we're going to try to create something 40th ooh nice Gonna try to make something. I don't know for sure if it's gonna work, but we're gonna attempt it. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what we can do. And you never know unless you try, right? You never know unless you try. And I'm all about trying. All about trying but I saw a photo on Pinterest and some toy photography and I really dug it and with my diorama out back I thought I could actually have some fun with it so basically I needed this blaster to create this cross piece on this cross looking thing uh, Luke, not really. I mean, they're opening things back up. Um, but, you know, we've still got, there's still cases coming. I mean, there's still things going on. Um, so I don't, I, to, I don't totally understand the logic by some, I understand the logic that we need to get the economy going again. I don't understand the logic of, you know, let's do it all now, you know. <laughs> That's all right, Ed. I understand that. So basically, what I'm recreating is, all right, so like, I'm a huge, like, Vlad the Impaler fan, like Dracula and Brian Stoke. I mean, I'm, I love that stuff. And I saw this photo and it was an illustration. It wasn't actually a photo, but it was a, an artist illustration that reminded me of Vlad the Impaler. And what they did was they had these this stormtrooper like this with his rifle as the cross piece, his blaster. So I wasn't for sure if I could recreate it with stormtroopers because of their I'm not going to say lack of mobility or but they are pretty they are pretty um, 
stiff. Their armor and stuff actually does hinder them quite a bit. But I wanted to see if I could recreate that illustration and then somehow photograph it. And I don't know if I'm going to use the battle droids as the characters that have came up on it or possibly the Mandalorian figure. I don't know yet. I'm thinking Mandalorian right now. Um, but I just wanted to see if this concept worked because I needed these big blaster rifles because these are are pretty 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 large the only thing that's killing me right now is this canister right here so I don't know I wish that canister I mean I could cut it off I don't really want to cut it off but I may wind up cutting it off <laughs> it's not the dark side it's okay so that might okay we're getting there but the 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 way the 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 illustration was it was almost like and that's why i'm thinking uh the mandalorian style figure is and i've got to dirty this this trooper up and i'm, I'm just going to dirty him up with just some dirt but i thought i don't know i just something about it just resonated with me and um but it would be something along this lines so i don't know but you can see that canister really gets in the way of it laying flat technically no can't but technically yes because when I saw when I saw the blaster that came with the battle droid, I was like, I need that. But I also wanted a pair of battle droids. But basically, I'm thinking, you know, put this in the diorama, and I actually might have a couple of other stormtroopers. Like it's one of those things to where, like with you know Vlad the Impaler, the premise behind it was. You know, to put fear in the enemy. So, the stormtroopers are the enemy. So, that's sort of my thought process here. And it might be a little dark, maybe. But I think... I think I could actually make it where it would be alright. Like I said, the illustration looks really good. There we go. There we go. So I think that will hang pretty good. I just need the helmet. I wish the helmet would go down a little bit more. And I'm trying to get his arms where they'll hang a little bit more so the head looks like it's down more. Hey, I'm just saying, sometimes you got to think outside the box. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're going to be artistic, Sometimes you got to think outside the old box and go down some crazy rabbit holes. What's up, Anthony? Doing well, bro. Doing well. Just trying to work some details out on this photograph concept I've got going on in my head. There we go. Maybe. We're getting there. We're getting there, I think. But if you think about the, the concept of it, I, I don't have another trooper handy, but if it's like this, and then you've got another figure, it would almost be like, you know, like, what the crap, you know? I don't know. But, yeah, there we go. So that's, that's something I've been kicking around with an idea on. Um... just to do something a little different and sometimes you gotta do things different right oh I love World War II documentaries I, I, I'm a history dude anyway I love history so I haven't quite decided yet it's either gonna be with the battle droids it might be with some other troopers like a couple of other troopers uh, might do it with the Mandalorian figure I don't know 
but it's one of those to where um, you know don't mess with us troopers we'll take you out that's sort of the premise behind this but there he is yeah it's definitely different and I might cut this down a little bit I don't know yet but or I might lift it up a little bit I guess I ought to lift it up because I don't know how far down in the dirt I'm gonna have to stick it so there we go maybe that's a little better like that yeah Luke exactly I mean it's a uh, it's just one of those things to where um, you just sort of push the boundaries of creativity oh there we go that's hanging pretty good right there that's hanging pretty good there we go we're getting there Kyle really when we get back to normal you need to come hang out at the mall with us at the therapy table. Poor Wicked. <laughs> I need some Ewoks. Well, see, Ewoks to me, I and this is where I'm going to get some serious hate. I've never liked the Ewoks. They're just, they're just teddy bears, man. I just, I don't know. I never got into the Ewoks. But, yeah. I think... I think we're on to something here. I think we are. I think there's possibilities here on recreating this. I do. So that's uh, that went a whole lot quicker than I thought it would. <laughs> uh, da da da. Heck yeah, man. You're always welcome. Once we get, like I said, we do it at 9 o'clock uh, at the mile. Um, so, yeah. Cut off, cut cut some legs and arms off that trooper and make it super morbid. I don't want to get crazy morbid. Um, you know, it's not about being crazy morbid. Yeah, it, we we actually might because, like I said, it's the weather here is actually really sort of sucky. So I am uh, checking, and I am actually looks like I'm. It did lag for a little bit, but I'm back. I'm back. Whoops, I'm back right there. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's not about being like morbid, morbid. It's about just, like I said, it's going back to uh, the Vlad the Impaler. And the, I don't know, like I said, when I, was, when I saw that illustration, I was like, that's that's pretty deep. Um, I have not heard about that movie. But hey, if it's a Marvel movie, I'm in it. Uh, there's also another thing I've got to add to it too. I, I got to add a little bit of fabric right here, like like draping around and coming down. So I need to do that. That's the other piece that's it's missing. I'll, I, it's either I'll have to go back and look at the illustration. It's either going around or it's on each end, like little tassels. I, I need to look at the illustration, but. That's Ren. That's, that's sort of what I was thinking with these battle droids. I was thinking that, you know, it might be just something completely different with the battle droids. Um, you know, you got to think outside the book. You got to think outside the book. Book. Box. Wow. All right, Anthony. Thanks for stopping by, brother. Um, yeah, that good morning. Go oh, man. Yeah, that was crazy. Separatist flight. Yeah, that one, that's interesting as well. I got to figure that part out. But that's the fun of, that's the fun of toys and toy photography and everything else because 
you can do what you want to do with your collections, right? It's your stuff. I mean, and that's why I tell people, it's like, think outside the box, you know? I mean, let me turn this down a little bit. Sorry. Um, I mean, yeah, you can do stormtroopers and they're, you know, got their blasters and these battle scenes. That's great. But I challenge people to do it outside the box. And I'm telling you right now, that's pretty much outside the box. You ain't never seen a stormtrooper display like that. Anthony B with the super chat. Thank you, my friend. Um, why? Oh, oh, because I had my phone going. <laughs> I was seeing, I was checking the lag and I had my phone going. So that's why you heard it. Sorry. Yeah, it is. It is a very good looking figure. You know what, Ren? Here's the thing. Um, I've got some of the six inch ones, but the three and three quarter inch compared to the six inch, the amount of details that they got in that three and three quarter, it's insane. The three and three quarters figures have, are starting to grow on me um, a lot more. Um, so, yeah, I don't think I'm going to go deep down that rabbit hole. But I will be, I've already went down the rabbit hole. So, it's, yeah, it's happening. It's happening. Uh, no, I would not get the hot toy. I'm picky on my hot toys. I'm very picky on my hot toys. My hot toys are very specific. Um, I don't have to have every hot toy that comes out. I don't have to have every Star Wars hot toy or every Marvel hot toy, every DC. I'm, no, it's like very, very, very specific. Number one, it'll break, it'll break your bank. <laughs> Number one. Like, good example is they just, uh, they just announced the six scale version of the white speeder bike, you know, and it looks great. And I think it's like four something, four seventy, something like that for the bike and the the figure, which is a great price. But here's the thing: I number one don't have nowhere to put it. Number one. Number two, um, I to fully get the effect that I would want with it, I'd have to have two. So now there's a grand. Um, and I really, number three, I truthfully don't have to have it. So it looks cool. It's very, very nice. It's a great piece, but it's easy for me to say no. It's very easy for me to say no because FOMO does not get me. Other people's collections don't get me. Other nothing. I don't, it's easy for me to say no on certain things. Now, it's like I've got the first Mandalorian pre-ordered, not the second one that came out, because I don't really care if I have the second one or not, because I, the first one looks cool. Uh, I've got the heavy pre-ordered. Um, trying to think. I think that's all Mandalorian related. Now, if they did a, a Cara Dune, that one I would probably get. Uh, but other than that, that's about the only three uh, parts of me. The IG, if it had been more into the series, maybe, but I don't have to have that one. So I don't have to have the child. I might maybe, once I see it, maybe pick up a Black Series child, but I'm not getting the Hot Toys child. Um, no. No. I got no, got no need, got no need for it. Um, Ren, I'm trying my best not to get crazy. Cause like I said, I, I have to have like, so that, like this figure here, this figure here, um, it only fits one thing and that's an X-Wing. So it, 
if the three and three quarter figures, like, you know, the ones that were sent to me, you know, those freaking army builds, I mean, yeah, but they're troopers and you can do so much. Um, the incendiary trooper, I've, I don't need to have it either. Um, cause here's the thing, like I've got a death trooper, right? I got one, but to really recreate a neat scene, you got to have like four or five of them. Like if you want to create the scene with the incendiary trooper, and, I mean, it's like, I mean, it, it's way too easy to go crazy. You know, it's a whole lot easier with spending 20 bucks than it is 250 bucks. Just saying. <laughs> like if they did, so let's think about this realistically from a photography point of view. All right. If I wanted to recreate a scene, you know, with all the death troopers, the incendiary trooper, Mandalorian, blah, blah, blah. For the cost of one hot toy, I could recreate that scene in six inch or three and three quarter inch. So to re recreate that in six scale, no, it's just not cost effective. Um, quarantine, Jose sucks. I go to work and I come home and repeat. Yeah, and if you've watched any of my videos, it has been probably close to nine weeks since I did a hunt video. I go to one store every once in a while, and that's the Walgreens up the road. That's only if I need to. Um, but you know, here's the thing: even if I let's let's say let's let's go into just serious what if moment. If I went out right now, went to the store. Bought a lottery ticket, hit that bad boy for $28.5 billion. I still wouldn't buy every freaking toy. I still wouldn't buy every hot toy. I still wouldn't buy every legend. I still would do the same thing I'm probably doing right now. Because I don't want to buy it just to have it. I have to buy something for me to possibly do something with. That's my whole premise. And I think that's the reason why it's so easy for me to say no. Is I have this set of little guidelines to where the photographer's first, the collector's second. So when I, when I see a pop that I buy, that's why I don't have complete sets of pops. That's why I don't have onesies and twosies because it's the way my brain's working right now. Now, this this wave that I just bought to get Crimson Dynamo had that same premise. Is to photograph these figures, but to photograph the figures right, I needed to build a figure. Makes sense. So, and the Black Widow wave actually looks really, really good. Um... I actually have another Black Widow figure I need to open. Do a review on that one. Got to do part four. So, yeah, loot. Yeah, I mean, I've got I've got so many pops and stuff that I have photographed and ones that I have not photographed because the moment hasn't hit. And some pops I got I got just to have them because I thought they were cool. Good point, Charlie. Until this wave here, it was really easy for me to just pick out the onesies and twosies. But this wave here, honestly, all the figures are really, really cool figures. They they all have their own little things that are weird. But uh, they're, they're all good looking figures. They're great looking figures. And I think there's some really cool stuff we can do with them. Uh, da -da but yeah, thanks, David. Crossbones, crossbones, crossbones. Here, you know, and like I said, if you watch my videos on these reviews, there's a lot of things about these figures that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't get it. Um, like this like with Black Widow and her holsters and the pistols worked great. But then you come over here to y Yelena 
and these are fixed uh, and it's I'm just like if you can if you can do one figure with movable thigh straps on the holsters why can't you do the other one the same way I don't get it I don't get it Jetta's in the house I thought <coughs> I thought you had a uh, thing going on right now <laughs> But that that was the thing that was weird about unboxing all these is all the little inconsistencies that didn't make sense. Uh, Winter Soldier, you got a fixed pistol in the holster. Why? Black Widow had empty holsters and pistols. I mean, I, I don't get it. Doesn't mean it's not a good looking figure. It's just it's just weirdness. Uh, crossbones with his silver pistols and spy master with his red pistols they're both the same pistol just painted red and silver um, yeah yeah that's me guys <laughs> but I mean it's like I said the wave is good it's probably one of the better looking waves I personally have enjoyed um, in, in quite a while and even spy master with him being more of a matte paint uh, actually looked really really good but big fail on no helmet big fail big fail uh we're divot the back of the neck let me look at my i didn't notice a divot in my blackwood i know yelena yelana whatever her name is She's got a weird, she's got a, a, a weird head. She can go, mm. <laughs> uh, Daxter, what's up? No apologies needed. None. Never apologize for uh, Gibbs rule. I think that's number 41. Never apologize. It makes you weak. <laughs> oh my goodness. Corey, what's up? But I'm sure they will do more figures. I'm sure they will do more variants of the figures. We will um, have a plethora of figures coming out. But hey, but I am, like I said, going back. I got to figure out now that I got my second battle droid. Now I've got to think. Got to think. I got a lot to think about. I got to think about my 10K giveaway. I got I got to figure out what I'm gonna do. Like I said, I've got it narrowed down to a couple, two or three things. I don't know. Decisions. 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 That's what makes it fun, though. That's what makes it fun having some decisions. Let's see here. But yeah, definitely don't forget as a, for the folks that are just tuning in. Matthias' birthday's on Monday, so definitely make sure and show him some love. If you can't, if you don't follow him on Instagram, Matthias, drop your Instagram link in the in the chat. Um, but uh, if you don't follow him, you can wish him an early happy birthday now. Oh, Phyllis, heck yeah. A Gibbs figure? Yes, I would so be all over that. Optimus, you know what? That's a good excuse. Watching Mando, good excuse. All right, so let's do a quick let's let's do a quick um, survey real quick on my future photography concept. Stormtroopers that have come across this trooper, stormtroopers, battle droids. Mandalorian or if you can think of something else put it in the chat I want to get I want to take a survey I want to see what people think so this stormtrooper has been hung out as a warning don't come here we'll mess you up that's the premise 
So who should be the ones that come up on this trooper? Other troopers? The heavy battle droids? Or it could be Mando just doing it and saying, don't mess with me. It's up to you guys. Battle droid. Ooh. Mandos, Mandos, all of the above. Okay, Mary, that's a that's a good choice. That could be a good choice. But I'm digging it. I think I finally got the pose good. I'm digging it. I just got to dirty him up. I'm just going to do that old school way with dirt. Oh, da, da, da. So, I think it's going to be cool. I think it's going to be a cool look. I still got to add, like I said, I got to add the, the, the soft good to the, uh, to the steak. Mando should come across that. Mando, definitely a trooper leaning against a pole on the ground. Ooh, ooh, Luke. So down here, like it's his buddy. Deadpool, hey. You know, I haven't picked up any six inch Jabba's, not one. Troopers, Deadpool. Jawas actually is a pretty good idea. Like the Jawas did it. But uh, I think the pose has come out pretty good. I think the pose is pretty much there. I think we got it. I think we're getting there. I might have to adjust it just a tad bit. But yeah, the uh, and what I'll do is, um, it's like I said, the illustration that the person did of this was really, really good, and that's the premise behind it. I love artist illustrations, but thankfully the heavy battle droid supplied the crossbar. <laughs> I love, I love stuff like this. How would the Javas get up there? Hey, that's a good point. Human Pyramid or Jawa Pyramid Vader K2SO. Ooh, Kent K2. Oh, I didn't think about K2SO. Wait a minute, that might actually. Ooh, Kent with the with the audible there K2SO. That's um. Oh man, I know what I could. Ooh. Porg. Because <laughs> what I could do is I could take the other one. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, we're, we're, we're creating here. All right. We might be on to something. We might be on to something here. I'll probably do different variants of it, but... All right, let's see here. All right. Let us see what we can come up with. So what we could do is, all right, so we got, let's, 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 let's talk this through. So we got one up here. We got another one that's ready. Got a trooper on the ground. Maybe K2SO's got the trooper. Like like holding the trooper up in the air. Getting ready to put him up there. Ooh. Predator. That's crossed right there. That'd be a that'd be a cross genre for sure. Uh hey, we're getting there. Hey, I think I think I need another trooper for sure. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. A predator? Predator? Now, I mean, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm down for doing some uh, cross contamination. And I've got a crap ton of predators. Oh. I'm on. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I got a feeling there's going to be a lot of variants of this. Uh, 
yeah, so it'll be in that same area, Jeanette. Um, like I said, I've got that one section. That section where I did Alpha was to the right of the TIE Fighter. I've got a section to the left of the TIE Fighter. Might actually keep the TIE Fighter in the background. But I'm digging this. Kent, you're always in my head. You got like a P.O. box in my brain. Very true, Charlie. Very true. But hey. Unless, like in the Predator movie, where he had the little Predator tied to the, the pillar. He was right side up. Pile of helmets. Yep. Thought about that. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be this is gonna be a fun little project. This will be a fun little project. I'm digging it. The more I think about it, the more I'm digging it. And since it's gonna to rain today, I might actually take these troopers out, put them in the diorama, and just sort of bear them a little bit, let the rain do my weathering for me for the day uh, good point Ren and I actually do have that I actually do have that legs upside down I'm talking about like that that's a possibility let's see here that's a hang on a minute hang on a minute let's see here let's see what we get going on here ask and you shall receive all right let's see here we'll we'll try it out we'll see what it looks like We shall see. Are you not entertained? Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to do this. Yes. Like this. Make this a lot easier. A lot easier. I can't talk and tie at the same time. Something like that. Boom. That doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look that doesn't look terrible. It's definitely a whole lot easier to pose. Definitely a whole lot easier to pose. Boom. Hey, spare time. That's right. Everything you do in toy photography should have a story. There should be a con. Talk it through in your brain. Why are you posing that figure that way? Why are you taking that figure? Uh, it's like when I did the Predator pop and I had it up on the rock. Duh. Predator. He's up on the rock. I mean, talk it through. Um, I think they both have. They both have. Um, Merit. Both poses have merit. I'm sort of with you, um, um, savvy that the hanging with the arms. That's more of the art concept that I saw. This has definitely got predator written all over it. This has a predator figure. <laughs> so what I might do, I might do a couple of different things. I might actually do the art head up pose. More along the lines of, hey, don't mess with us. That's what we'll do. Then I might do a cross contamination pose. Because one of the things, too, I'm going to have is blasters down here on the ground. Which you can't see. but um, And then maybe throw a predator in there. That, that's pretty cool. I, I dig that. But, hey. And like I said, it's a whole lot easier to hang upside down because you just put little hooks around his ankles hanging <laughs> but that's the thing when you go out and you have fun 
and you think about what you want to do, it doesn't matter what figures you use as long as it makes sense to you. Um, it's like the dude that done this artist concept creation of this pose. Um, man, it just, it was deep. It's really deep. It was a good, good art illustration. And it had to, it had to be something because it moved me. It moved me to want to like try to honor this dude and recreate it in a, in a photograph. So the point is have fun with the figures don't get caught up in, I've said it before and I'll keep saying it, don't get caught up in what other people think. It's your art. It's your thought. It's your concept. Some will love it. Some will hate it. But at the end of the day, if you love it, that's all that matters. But right there. Boom. Boom. Right there. That'll be the first simulation and I could actually hang on a minute I didn't think about this I think we might want to do this as well and I love these wire ties these uh, let me show you these real quick these wire ties here um, you can get them at like Hobby Lobby and stuff they're used for uh, floral stuff but these right here, uh, they have like this uh, cloth, not cloth, but papery substance on them. But it looks like rope or vines. Uh, but definitely get you some of these. These are cool and you can paint them. So if you wanted it to look like a rope, you could paint it tan or brown and look like a rope. Um, but yeah. So like the way I did it right there around his ankle. So it looks like there's rope around them. So. And it keeps the figure up. <laughs> keeps the figure up. I dig it. I dig it. Boom. Right there. I love this stuff. I love cre I love freaking creating things and thinking outside the box. I don't like the box. The box is square. I like different angles. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, I keep all my wire ties, Charlotte. Like the NECA figures, if you want wire ties, NECA figures, you will get a plethora of them. Darren, yeah, so what it is, it's a concept from a art illustration that I saw. I've still got to add some soft goods to it. Um, but the premise is from it for me um, is from Vlad the Impaler uh, where he would actually impale his victims the armies and it would throw fear into the heart so that's the premise behind this is don't come any further we're gonna mess you up you know and uh, yeah uh, but yeah, Charlie, that's that's the thing about these. When I stumbled across these, they have with that paper and texture on them. They uh, it, it looks like rope, so you could actually do some really cool stuff with these. And like I said, you can um, you can paint them, and you don't even have to use paint like a brown magic marker. But right now they're green, so it looks like vines. Which hey. And they're a little thicker and they're completely round but yeah definitely the next time you're out um and go over to a hobby lobby definitely get you some of these wire ties right here as i completely drop that one so you won't regret it they're great to have but anyway guys i think we're going to uh call an end to the therapy table this morning appreciate everybody hanging out as always, Matthias' birthday's on Monday. So, Matthias, happy early birthday. Hope you have a great one on Monday. Uh, but, guys, I hope you all have a great weekend. I hope you get out and get out and be able to do something. Again, I don't, me personally, it's still locked down. So, um, this just gives me time to create stuff like this. Um, definitely got so give you a little rundown for next week before we end 
Um, Charlie, you got to go to Hobby Lobby, man. Thanks, Luke. Um, part four of the Black Widow Wave review is going to be coming out uh, Monday, I do believe. And because you guys know me, I don't release videos on the weekends. I'm um, also go, uh, got a couple of more review videos that I'm doing. Um, I'm going to be working on this bad boy this weekend. So the sanding and hopefully painting of the primer will be coming. I actually did a test run uh, with the sanding, uh, sanding sticks that I made. Worked out great. So uh, that video is coming out. 10K giveaway video will be coming out next week. Um, so yeah, content's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Um, but as always, I appreciate each and every one of y'all for hanging out with me and for the super chats. Thank you so much for those. You guys are awesome. But that's it. We're done. We're going to wrap it up and get out and have some fun with the cameras today. And, um working on the mando helmet today and tomorrow so just get out and have some fun today um i'm just catching up on a few last chats but anyway cool all right guys thank you thank you thank you and i will see you tuesday night for uh toy table and got videos coming so make sure and uh give those videos a watch and you guys know i always say it but always remember, toys, refresh your soul. And I'll see you next time, everybody. Have a great rest of the day and have a great rest of the week.